Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Mark and this is an overdub. <laughs> the wind was so strong on the beach when I was trying to record this that I actually couldn't get any good quality uh, audio for this. And this is my new travelogue series. So anytime I go away, I can bring a little bit of that adventure back to the channel here and share it with you. And here, my family and I took a vacation to the Dominican Republic, Punta Cana, and you can see I'm on the beach here and it was absolutely gorgeous. We we have not been on a vacation in quite a while, so this was long overdue, and boy, did we pick a great place to go. The Dominican Republic is just absolutely gorgeous. Uh, I'd never been there before, and Punta Cana, this resort we stayed at, was just absolutely gorgeous. It, um, it rained sometimes a little bit, but the sunshine always tends to come back out. There's amazing places to see, like Santo Domingo. The people and the culture is so rich, and everything was just wonderful. The music, the food and again the people were just so friendly and warm and inviting that it was just a great adventure for my whole family and I to take. Uh, we got to see things that we never saw before, artwork that was completely original for me, even the architecture in some of the buildings was just phenomenal. But I'll tell you, the best place for me was to get up at 5.30 in the morning and just watch that sunrise. It was absolutely breathtaking. Back on the resort, we met lots of people from all over the world, and we got to see some amazing things like this uh, little pink flamingo peeking at me while he's sleeping. Um, just so much to do. I can't even express how much there was, but for me, the nightlife was wonderful. It was just funny and fun and uh, like this limbo contest and no folks, that is not me, sorry. <laughs> but uh, there was so much to do and so much to see, crazy things to see like this guy here again. But uh, like I said, it did rain. When it rained, it was only for about 15 to 20 minutes and then it was back to the sunshine again. And for me, the best thing to do is to bring my handbook travelogue journals and sketch. And that's what I love to do. So this is my five by five handbook travelogue journal. I love these books to take with me because they're so easy to use. They take a light wash of watercolor and pen and ink. They're just great to travel with. And as you can see here, I'm just doing a quick sketch of the, uh, the resort that we stayed on and just uh, having some fun and relaxing. The sitting before this site and drawing what I see was just exactly what I love to do on vacation. While the kids are swimming or doing other things, I just get to sit and relax and just enjoy the surroundings. And it's just such a great time. Now here I'm just using my uh, Sakura Koi uh, field kit. It's a watercolor kit. It's a student grade kit, but I just absolutely love it. And I'm just using a Pentel water brush, or maybe it's the Sakura brush that came with it, I forget. And uh, nothing fancy. I'm not, uh, I'm not going by any rules here. I'm just trying to capture the sights that I see. Now I took that kind of sight, went back to the room, and decided to just create a more stylized version of what I saw. So here I'm using my Daniel Smith set instead and uh, just painting out what I see. Now, this is the kind of thing that I like to do myself because uh, as far as just creating a stylized version, because sometimes you don't want to sit outside and just paint what you see or do plain air or anything like that. You want to make it your own. So I'm just taking the influence of everything that I saw around me and I'm putting it to good use here in this watercolor painting. And um, one of the things that was kind of fun for me on this vacation was trying to capture water. And uh, this is tropical water, so it has a very vibrant blue color and that turquoisey color. So I wanted to really practice that. And in my other sketchbook that I brought with me, the stuff that I didn't show in this video, I just did a lot of test patterns and trying to get the colors right and mixing the colors and laying them down. So it was a lot of fun in that regard too. I brought a bunch of different sketchbooks and uh, you know I just painted and drew and painted and drew. But a lot of it was for me just testing and patterns and just seeing how colors would work together and being influenced by the colors of this environment. And in the Dominican Republic, the colors are very vibrant and they're very reflective of the sort of just the natural landscape, which is a lot of grays and greens and blues and neutral tones. But there's also these bursts of bright green and yellows and just wonderful colors. You didn't see much color like this red flag, so things like that would stand out a little bit. Mostly the landscape is these dull and neutral greens with bursts of yellowy greens in between. So there's a lot of different colors going on in the environment. And uh, 
This is my longer version. This is the panoramic travelogue journal, which I actually sketched this while I was there uh, looking up at a palm tree and decided to paint it when I got back. So the night I got back, I was still wide awake. We got back really late, but um, I just wanted to get the impression. I didn't want to go for details. I didn't want to sit and just mark out every, you know, leaf or every palm on the tree. I wanted to just capture the impression of what I saw. And here I'm trying to mimic how I would paint when I was there. So when I'm trying to paint when I'm outdoors, I'm not necessarily going for the high detail. I can do that just fine if I want to sit and spend that kind of time doing a really detailed painting. But for me, it was more about just capturing kind of the just the the overall impression of what I was seeing. And that's what I did here. And I'm pretty happy with the way it turned out. Uh, you know, got to use the palette that I was familiar with when I was there in the Dominican and it worked very well again back at home. So now that palette is in my head and I can always remember uh, going to the Dominican Republic and just experiencing not only everything I saw and experienced there, uh, the food, the culture, the music, the people, but also the colors and the smells and the sounds of just everything around me while I was drawing and painting. That's the great thing about these travelogue journals is you can sit and immerse yourself in your drawing, but you also capture all the smells and the sounds and all the things going on around you. So I think this this came out exactly the way I was hoping it would come out. Again, it's not a perfectly stylized drawing, but it's an impression that I can take with me and keep in my journals. I thank you so much for watching today. I hope you enjoyed this video. It was just a quick one-off of uh, this travelogue series to get that going. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe, and I'd love to bring you more content like this. Thank you so much for watching. Take care. <laughs>